I'm Jack Deanna. I'm the executive director of the Geothermal National and International Initiative. And uh, we're here with Bonnie Morrison. Hi, Jack. This is a, yes, Bonnie, this is a spectacular project. Unfortunately, or fortunately, this is my first time at Longwood Gardens. If I would have known it was geothermal, I would have been here sooner. Give kudos to Morrison with all your, with all the project that you do, aside from all your residential stuff, you do some really interesting out of the way or unusual projects, this being one of them. Uh, tell me about this project. Um, it is. Uh, we were honored to be part of the uh, fountain revitalization project at Longwood. We were invited to bid it a few years ago from one of our contractors that we work with a lot on a lot of high profile projects. I had never been to Longwood Gardens either prior to the project and it is spectacular. What some of the some of the interesting things that I thought that I discovered once being here was that they're so environmentally conscious. They not only utilize the geothermal, they have solar, even though it's an old site, they have a lot of forward thinking people obviously and they are continuing the tradition of uh, great visionary things. Um, they do a lot of educational things and while doing the project, we actually discovered a lot of that along the way. How big is this project, the loop field? The loop field itself is over 50,000 feet of pipe buried in the ground, and the loop field is not right next to the fountain, which is one of the things with geothermal, you can put the loop field in where you have the space to do it. So we actually use kind of a leading edge loop technology there are actually double loops, um, over 50,000 feet of pipe, and I believe the final geothermal system is roughly between 80 and 90 tons. That's great. The interesting part about the, the fact that, that that Longwood Gardens had gone with this renewable technology is the fact that the interesting part is their business is the ground. They use the ground to do their business, <clears throat> and that's exactly what our technology does is we're using the ground to help them do their business. Looking at this historic pump house, fountains are one of their main attractions here. Yes, I would say so. And they put a lot of time and effort and dollars into the revitalization of it. I think that one of the features uh, of the project was that they wanted to make the fountain interesting to people without any mechanical noise or mechanical units that were in sight. So they have all of those in the tunnels and what we're using the geothermal for is to um, heat, cool, space and condition space the condition the tunnels, yes, exactly. 